John Spence, trusted consultant, respected advisor, experienced strategist, passionate speaker, well-read author, a top 100 business thought leader, helping executives achieve more success every day. This is a message for both managers and employees. Uh, I've been a professional executive trainer and speaker for 21 years. Uh, I've spoken to hundreds of companies and tens of thousands of people and I'd like to give you a few tips for how to get the most out of attending a training, a seminar, or a speech. Uh, first things first, to give you an idea why this is so important, I did a little back of the envelope accounting here. I recently did a talk for a hundred senior executives uh, and I asked one of the senior leaders what was the average salary for folks in the room. Uh, we were together for four hours so when you add up just the cost of their salaries and hiring me, the company spent about fifty-five, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 for four hours. If you add in the cost of travel, airfare, uh, accommodations, food, the other speakers, it's just north of about a quarter of a million dollars. So understand that when you go to a training or a seminar or they bring in a keynote speaker, your organization is spending a lot of money to have you there, so they want you to take full advantage of it and learn something. So, a couple of key ideas. Uh, number one, bring something to write on and something to write with. I know this sounds uh, obvious, but I just did a strategic planning retreat for about a $70 million company. I had their top executive leadership team there, and not one of them, not one, brought a pen, pencil, or paper, or computer, or iPad. They walked in basically with their phones and their keys and sat down. This is the senior management team of a company that needs them to create a strategy and a vision and guide the rest of the employees and they can't be bothered to bring anything to write on. Uh, and I see this in seminars all the time, uh, workshops. People show up and they, I've got to bring a package of pens with me. Uh, and I'm handing out workbooks, but no, you know, probably 10 to 15 percent of people don't bring anything to write with. How do you go to a full day of training and not think you're going to write a single note? Another thing, don't bring your laptop, or if you do, and you open it up at the beginning of seminar and you work all day through the seminar and then you close it at the end of the day, don't come to the seminar. Don't come to the workshop. Stay in your office or your hotel room. It's more comfortable. You'll get more work done. You won't have to listen to me, blah, 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 in the background while you're trying to work. So, you know, and, and that same sort of thing goes with your cell phone. If you're going to spend the whole time looking at your cell phone, I actually had a guy the other day that had his earplugs and was listening to music or working on his cell phone, and he started it before I started the seminar all the way through. Uh, again, don't come. Uh, and by the way, it, you got to remember that if you can see me, I can see you. You know, if I've got 100 people in the room and they're all looking at me, I can see every one of them too. So I see it when you don't open your notebook. I see it when you don't write any notes. I see it when you sit on your cell phone the whole day. I see it when you're on your computer the whole day. Um, two things. That tells me you don't care, and frankly, it's offensive to the speaker or trainer. Uh, and I would say that if I was a terrible speaker or trainer and I started to talk and everybody opened up their laptops or got on their phones, I would consider it my fault. But when they open up the laptop or get on the cell phone before I ever say a word, and I can look up, the, and out of 100 people, 80% are furiously taking notes, they're engaged, they're nodding, they're looking, but I got 15 or 20 on their cell phone or laptops, it tells me that I'm probably delivering pretty good information, they just don't care. Uh, which brings me to my last point, which is when you leave one of these things, your company expects you to implement some of the stuff you learn. So don't go back and just put it on the shelf and let it become credenza aware. Pick two or three things, not 20, not 30, two or three really good ideas and write them down and focus on them every day and take action on them so that you can apply them. And then after you finish one of them, add another one to the list. Uh, most companies bring in pretty talented speakers and trainers. Uh, they're working very hard to give you excellent information. They're trying to give you their best ideas. I know that some are uh, pathetic and they're terrible. They are a waste of your time, but for the most part, Companies try real hard to bring in real good people to give you excellent information, but it's useless if you don't apply that information. So those are just a few tips from 20-something years of teaching classes, teaching workshops, giving keynote addresses, and wondering why did you come to this if you're not even going to listen or use it. Uh, and I want you to do the reverse. Listen carefully, take great notes, interact, ask great questions, go back and apply what you learn. You do those five things, you will get better and better and better, and it will have a huge positive impact on your career. Do the other stuff I talked about, mm, not so much.
I hope you found this helpful. Take good care. Talk to you soon.